absolute terms. The enemies we fight are only enemies in relative terms, constantly changing with the times. As long as we have loyalty to the end, there's no point in believing in anything, even in those we love. And that's the way a soldier's supposed to think. The only thing we can believe in with absolute certainty is the mission, Jack. All right, but do me a favor. What is it? Call me Snake. Snake? Oh, right. Your code name is Snake. It suits you well. That's right. The legendary unit that the boss put together during World War II was a snake. The Cobra unit. A group of heroes that brought the war to an end and saved the world. As long as you've got a legendary hero backing you up, you'll be fine. Isn't that right, Snake? Yeah. I can't think of anyone else I'd rather have with me. Oh, and one more thing, boss. Yes? It's good to hear your voice again. Same here. After all, who knows if either of us will make it out alive. Snake, you are always best at urban warfare and infiltrating buildings. But this is the jungle. Survival is going to be key. Those CQC techniques I taught you are sure to come in handy. CQC? Close quarters combat, huh? I've been in the Green Berets for the past few years. I'm probably pretty rusty. Not to worry. I'll be here to help you remember. After all, this is your first actual survival mission. I'll be supporting you over the radio. Where are you, boss? Next to the Major? The boss is communicating with us by radio from aboard a permit-class submarine in the Arctic Ocean. My frequency is 141.80. Call me if you need my advice on battle techniques. Gotcha. Your mission is to retrieve Dr. Sokolov. Dr. Sokolov is being held in an abandoned factory located to the north of your current position. Avoid heavy combat and don't let anyone see you. Don't forget that this is a stealth mission. Snake, try to remember some of the basics of CQC. Commencing virtuous mission now. Sokolov should be at the abandoned factory to the north, so head in that direction. I see you've captured a giant anaconda. The giant anaconda is believed to be the largest snake in the world in terms of weight and diameter. It's not poisonous, but its large size makes it extremely powerful. They say it even eats crocodiles. 
Its only natural predator is man. And snake. And snake. The giant anaconda is a very large snake, but you should be able to capture it alive using the tranquilizer gun. Got it. So how does it taste? I knew you were going to ask me that. Glad I didn't disappoint you. So? Well, the guide says it tastes all right. Good. I'll have to try some. Ugh. That area is home to the reticulated python. The reticulated python is said to be the longest snake in the world. The biggest ones can grow up to 10 meters in length. Although they're not poisonous, they're still very dangerous, so be careful around them. They have a highly ferocious temperament, and they can swallow whole, even large animals like deer and pigs. Their most distinguishing feature is the mesh pattern of their scales. This pattern acts as a highly effective natural camouflage. If you think there might be a reticulated python about, pay close attention to your surroundings. Otherwise, you could get bitten before you even know it's there. It's a huge snake, but you should be able to capture it alive by using the tranquilizer gun. I'll bet if you capture one and throw it at an enemy, it'll give him a good scare. Right. But how do they taste? Huh? Do they taste good? You're actually going to eat one. Why else would I be asking? Cannibal. What was that? Nothing. Let's see what the guide says. Ah, you're in luck. It says they taste pretty good. Good. I can hardly wait. Ugh. The gauge below your life gauge is your stamina gauge. It shows, as the name suggests, your remaining stamina. As you consume stamina, your natural life regeneration is slowed and your hands shake more. Your O2 gauge and grip gauge also become shorter. Excessively low stamina can often impede your mission objectives. Make sure you replenish stamina before that occurs. Eat food to recover stamina. Capture plants and animals to get food. I have information on the local plants and animals, so don't hesitate to ask. To take a rest, all you have to do is save and exit the game. The next time you load your save data and continue the game, your stamina and life will have recovered. How much they recover depends on how long of a rest you take. So the longer I rest, the more I'll recover. That's right. If you're so exhausted that you don't even have the strength to find food, save the game and take a rest and you'll be back on your feet. I hope that never happens. So do I. But you never know. Just don't forget, okay? I won't. Snake, that area is inhabited by magpies. Magpies are members of the crow family. They're distinguishable by their beautiful dark blue and white bodies and their long tails. Their favorite food is insects, but they'll also eat small fish, acorns, and fruit. They're omnivores, which means... They'll eat anything. Right. Just like you, huh? If you use the tranquilizer gun, you should be able to capture magpies alive. Okay. So how do they taste? You always ask me that. Naturally. So? I've never heard of anybody actually eating a magpie, but I suppose there's no reason you couldn't. You don't say. Oh. Snake, that area should be inhabited by tree frogs. The tree frog is a green frog that's found throughout Asia. It's arboreal, spending most of its time in shrubs and bushes. Use the tranquilizer gun to catch one alive. I bet you could scare an enemy good if you toss one at him. But the tree frogs that live in that jungle are a lot bigger than ordinary tree frogs. They've got an appetite, huh? You've got a one-track mind, don't you? But seriously, that is one theory. However, there are people who think it's a mutation caused by nuclear testing and waste from the research facility. Do you think they're safe to eat? Is that all you ever think about? What else is there? Lots. Like what? Like why a frog would get so big in the first place. Whether it's a temporary phenomenon created by a unique environment, or a permanent mark of evolution, or a product of the toxic waste coming out of the research facility. If it is the waste that's causing it, then it means humans are interfering with the ecosystem. It really makes you think about the changing relationship between... This isn't interesting. Oh, fine. Be that way. So, how about it? You mean, is it edible? Yeah. 
Hmm. Well, I guess it's probably okay. Probably? I don't know. The guide doesn't say anything. Pretty useless guide, if you ask me. Well, try one for dinner and you can help improve it. You should be able to find Russian oyster mushrooms in that area. The Russian oyster mushroom is an edible variety that belongs to the Shimeji family. It's known to be particularly rich in vitamin B1 and niacin. Apparently, it's usually found growing on tree stumps and hollow logs, so look there if you want to eat some. To eat food, press the Start button to enter the Survival Viewer, then select Food. Select the food you want to eat and press the Enter button. Select Eat and you will eat the selected food. When you eat, you will recover your stamina, but the extent of recovery depends on what you eat. When your stamina is down only slightly, you should save your tastier morsels for later. But don't leave food for too long or it'll rot. This is where a little planning ahead goes a long way. Paramedic. What's up? Are you a medic or a doctor? I'm a well-respected physician, or I was until I joined the CIA. How is your reputation? My what? Your reputation. Oh, that. How was it? Why? Don't you trust me? That's not what I meant. Fine, then. Uh-huh. So? So what? Your reputation. How was it? My! You're relentless! Hey, I'm a snake. So? My reputation was spotless. I'm highly skilled, patient, and good-looking to boot. Everybody wanted to see me. What else would you expect? Hmm. No, seriously. Incidentally, her nickname back then was Quack. Major! Is that true? Hmm, is what true? About your nickname. No! Well, maybe a few people did call me that. So you were a Quack? No. Well, yes and no. I mean, in a sense I was, but then again I wasn't. <laughs> Snake, her skills as a doctor are beyond reproach. You have my word on that. Yes. That's exactly what I was trying to say, Snake. Then why did they call her Quack? It's because she... Never mind that. It doesn't matter. We've got a job to do and we have to stay focused. Besides, my past doesn't have anything to do with the mission and... Because she never shuts up. Yes, that's it. No, that's not it. Snake, tell him that's not true. <sighs> say something. I'd better get back to the mission. Yes, you do that. Just a minute. Snake, don't you hang up on me. You should be able to find Siberian ink cap mushrooms growing in that area. The Siberian ink cap is a mushroom from the ink cap family. Its life cycle is transitory. As soon as the spores mature, the cap starts to turn black, liquefy, and melt away. And that's why they call it an ink cap? That's right. It doesn't really turn to liquid, but you get the idea. In its immature state, before it melts away, it's valued as a source of food. Just be sure not to eat them while you're drinking alcohol. Why's that? Ink caps contain coprin, which inhibits the function of aldehyde dehydrogenase. This prevents the body from breaking down alcohol, causing a buildup of acetaldehyde. Meaning? Meaning it will give you the hangover from hell. Oh. Wait a minute. What? You think I'd drink alcohol in the middle of a mission? Wouldn't you? Hell no. Well, I'm knocking a shot back now. What? Just teasing you. Uh -huh. Oh, come on. Where's your sense of humor? I need a drink. If you have any questions about stamina or healing, just ask me. I'll tell you everything you need to know. It'll have to be over the radio, though. So you won't be able to see me naked, then? Yeah, I'm devastated. But I'll bet that 50 years from now you'll be able to see who you're talking to on the radio. I'll be retired from active duty by then. I don't know. Somebody somewhere might just decide to give you a call. Wouldn't surprise me. Let's both pray that never happens. A fruit called the Russian False Mango grows in that area. The Russian false mango is a mango-like fruit found only in Selinoyarsk. The egg-shaped fruit is sweet and tangy with a pleasing aroma, just like a mango. 
Also, the seeds can be used to make a